Okay, today I'm going to walk you through the lab notebook setup for the food calorimeter lab. So you need to put um, the date up top here, and then I want you to put food calorimeter lab. Okay. Now the big major purpose um, of this lab uh, is going to be to determine the amount of energy contained in food. Now the one thing that's going to be different is when we talk about energy and chemistry we mostly have been talking about heat energy and we're still going to look at um, energy is related to how much heat is re um, released but instead of looking at in joules that we've been looking at we actually are going to measure this in calories okay which is what we are most familiar with in when we're talking about food and diet and how much energy that certain foods have so what we're going to do for we're going to do with different materials and procedure set up for this and we're actually going to kind of procedure combine them okay and we'll go back and put the safety precautions in once we're done after we see how we're going to set this up so for our materials and procedure you're going to draw a little picture of the apparatus that we're going to be using and this will obviously make more sense when you see it but what you need to be able to draw and when I say draw I'm not a very good artist but you need to draw a box this is going to represent kind of a makeshift tin can and there's going to be an opening so that's what this triangle in the middle here is going to represent and you're going to have a piece of cork okay and on that cork is going to be a pin now we want to label different things so whenever we draw things in science we're going to label them so this first one down here is going to be the cork pin food um, we'll just say assembly okay because you're gonna take your piece of food that you're gonna test and you're gonna put it on this pin and whatever piece of food that we're testing is gonna go right you know right here we're gonna test a couple of different substances now the way that we are going to test how much energy is trapped inside of that is we're gonna light the food on fire okay and that's gonna be fun right because everyone likes to light things on fire and the way that we're going to test it is we're going to we're going to have an Erlenmeyer flask that's going to be right up above so I'll draw a picture of this Erlenmeyer flask I'm just using dots to just because it's behind the tin can you know using a little 3d there so we're going to label this as an Erlenmeyer flask Erlenmeyer flasks have a narrow top and a wide bottom down here okay Erlenmeyer flask all right, and then um, in this Erlenmeyer flask is going to go our water. So we're going to go ahead and put, um, you know, just some little waves there to represent the water. And then what you need to do is there's going to be a cover because we want to try to measure as much energy as possible. So we're going to put a line, and then you want to kind of color in around the rim of this. And to label a couple of other things, here is our calorimeter lid because if you remember a calorimeter is what we measure energy with okay so the materials procedure up top we'll just go ahead and we'll write calorimeter setup All right, so we've got the calorimeter lid and this last piece that we kinda of colored in up here this is going to be the Erlenmeyer spill rim attachment okay and you obviously when you see this it'll make more sense but we're gonna have this makeshift tin can we're gonna have a glass or an Meyer flask that we're gonna put some water in we're gonna light something on fire now I'm gonna change colors here and you may want to get a different color pen because I just want to talk here for just a second about heat flow and where this heat is gonna flow and I'm gonna pick a red pen because that's what heat but what's gonna happen is that we are gonna light the food on fire okay and the heat from a foods from the foods perspective this is going to be an exo 
thermic situation where the food is going to release its heat and the heat is then going to be absorbed by the water okay so number one I'm gonna say that energy is released and you need to write all of this down in your notebook is released by the food so that's going to be exothermic number two the second thing that's going to happen so here's my exothermic number two how we're going to measure the energy is the temperature of the water we're not going to stick the thermometer in the flame of the food we're going to stick it in the water and measure the temperature of water so the first energy pathway or flow of energy is that energy is going to be released by the food and that's going to be exothermic secondly we're going to measure how much energy is absorbed by the water and that process is going to be endothermic okay so this heat flow is going to be very important from the perspective of the food it's going to be exothermic from the perspective of the water it's going to be endothermic okay now the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and set up our data table so let me go ahead and just do a second page here we want to also set up a data oops I want to do this in back to black here data table so we're going to go ahead and set up our data table and our data table the way that we're gonna we need a couple of things in order to do all of our calculations now when we set this up we're gonna have we're, we're gonna leave this blank we're just gonna do sample number one and sample number two because I'm still not totally sure what we're gonna test yet um, but anyway there are a few things we need to measure for our samples the first one is going to be the initial mass of the assembly that we were talking about that whole peanut cork food assembly okay we're gonna put that whole thing with the piece of food on it on the balance at the very beginning we also are gonna test the initial temperature of the water okay so before we start we're gonna measure oops how much this whole thing masses and what the temperature of the water is so that's the first thing that we're gonna do the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna light the food on fire we're gonna stick it under there and we're gonna measure we're gonna let the reaction happen we're gonna let everything cool down and we're gonna measure two things at the end we're gonna measure measure the final temperature of the water and we also are gonna measure the final mass of the assembly okay so that's going to be our data table now below your data table I want you to put a space I want you to write qualitative observations remember qualitative observations are what we describe things look like and this is going to be for the food and you need to make sure you have stuff before during and after and if you need to draw pictures um, you know that is completely going to work for demonstrating what that what that would look like but you we need to have a section for data which is going to be our quantitative data and then secondly our qualitative observations okay and you want to leave yourself some space all right I'm gonna go ahead and pause here this is all you have to do for pre-lab okay at this point there's going to be a second video that will walk you how to do the calculations okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pause here and then we'll make a second video on how to do calculations